welcome back to the channel guys uh, this is sky beyond the lights and it's almost been a month of clouds in vegas so couldn't make any content any videos but it's also exciting at the same time to get refreshed and come back to my equipments uh, reset everything and you know just just start something new so tonight i'm gonna try to capture the famous green comet which everyone's talking about uh, it's visiting our solar system after 50,000 years I, I heard so we'll try to capture that with my Newtonian 8 inch telescope let's hope I get it I've never done a comet ever never captured a comet or seen so it's gonna be exciting if not we will capture something else uh, but I'm just excited to go outside camping and uh, take my camper and my equipment and just point my telescope to the sky, to the glory of the cosmos <laughs> and, and, and show you guys and come up with some sort of image for you guys. I'm going to be using my Newtonian tonight with the same setup what it's right now here with the color camera. Um, and ASI Air Plus. That's a Edge HD. All these telescopes are in still making and I'm still working on them. I shoot my moon pictures with this one. Edge HD 9.25 inch. But tonight I'm gonna use the same setup. Uh, a Newtonian 8 inch telescope. Getting all the cables ready. Beautiful, clear day. Yup. Gonna sleep in this one. Uh, I hope it stays clear tonight. I checked online. The weather forecast looks great. Should be clear. I still have to go to work, so I might have to dis be a detach this and just take the car to work mount sitting here um, it was all under the cover all this time because of the rain that's my Dobsonian telescope this is a Dobsonian 10 inch mirror it's a really good telescope look at that 10 inch mirror primary mirror uh, it's a really good telescope to observe nighttime and I might grab this next time and just enjoy the night sky you know i don't think you guys can see it <laughs> for confirmation charge this guy for tonight putting on the computer guys uh, that first night was a total flop because I could not capture the comet properly uh, I mean I did capture it but when I was trying to stack it it just couldn't stack anything properly and was a total mess so tonight I'm gonna again try to film uh, to shoot the comet with this refractor Esprit 100 uh, this would definitely give me a much wider field of uh, field, wider field for the comet and supposedly I will be able to see the tail of the comet but this you know I, I'm 
I just want to give it one more try and uh, let's see how it goes again. So I'm going to remove this autofocuser from this telescope and put it on this one because I don't have another autofocuser for this guy uh, right here. So let's do that. Right, the focuser is on. This is all my <laughs> way of putting it on, but it's nice and tight. So there's two choices. Either I'm gonna use the, the color camera. ASI, sorry guys. So either I'm gonna use this ASI 533 Pro or I have a monochrome camera sitting here with filters. So I'm gonna take both of them for tonight. Uh, and I might go with, with the color one for the Comet. And if there's more time, I'll go with, I'll also shoot with mono. RGB filters just to get that extra uh, field of view actually because this one's field of view is a uh, bigger one and this is a crop sensor so I'm gonna be using two filters tonight uh, for the Comet I'm gonna be using Optolong L Pro and for a Nebula if I'll be capturing I'll be using Optolong L Extreme so these are my go-to filters for OSC color camera but if I go with the monochrome camera then there are RGB filters already in the filter view so red green and blue filters the telescope is ready to go in the car uh, everything is attached so that I just have to go to the spot and just put it on the mount all right we are on our way to Death Valley to capture some comet so what happened is I used an L Extreme dual band filter, <laughs> which is not the right filter for this comet capturing. Anyways, this time I'm full fledged ready. Uh, got my refractor telescope. We'll get a nice wide angle view. And even if I get two hours, it should be enough from the dark zone. Uh, yeah, Bortle 2. I'm grabbing some water. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm at Ash Meadows, right in Death Valley. I'm trying to put up my telescope. It's freezing cold. step and then I'll just jump inside because it's really really freezing <laughs> and I'm gonna have some food and control this guy from inside uh, let's hope we let's hope we capture the comet
it's not cold anymore. It's not that cold anymore, but because the sun's out. So it's beautiful. Thank you so much for tuning in guys, this is Sky Beyond the Lights. Please like and subscribe my channel if you want to see more content like this. Um, and you can comment below any questions you have about any of my equipment and I'll be, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions about anything. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. The Green Comet is coming right here.